a delivery, some new running shoes to review. So let's get them on. So, I have purchased the new Nike, the new Nike uh, Zoom Vaporfly Next Percent Free in this glorious colorway. And what happened, I had the Alpha Flies and the Alpha Flies got a puncture. Uh, so, I contacted Nike and they gave me a refund, and then with the refund, I bought these. So the cost around, I think it's around 200 quid or something like that. Um, like I said, I paid for them via my refund. They seem to have updated the sole, put a nice bit of rubber on there. It seems a complete different shoe compared to the uh, Vaporfly uh, Next Percent 2. Uh, the tongue's not a, gus not a gusseted tongue, it's separate to the shoe. Uh, it looks quite airy. Um, I'm going to go out and see how it performs. I'm going to take it on a longish run and then I'll give it a full and proper review. So I'll see you in about a couple of hours' time. How do you peeps? So I'm around. Eight miles into my run, uh, trailing, trialing the new Nike uh, Faber Fly Zoom 3, that's for cent, whatever they call it. Um, not a bad show, actually. Uh, a lot of energy return. They've got um, the heel, it's got a wider. Uh, What's the word? A wider full base, giving you uh, a bit more stability with the heel. And it comes to cornering, and uh, if the heel's striking, it's a lot more comfortable. That feels very warm, so I've stopped for. Juice. Ooh, peeps. So, a bit under 14 miles into the run. Now, these like zoom. Alpha or Vapor Fly, 6% freeze, decent shoe, very good shoe. I'm going to put them away for race days now. Um, very, very comfortable in the heel. It's a wider heel. Toe box, lots of room in toe box. That's 14 miles done now. Aye, so, decent shoe. Good peeps, and welcome to my post run shoe review. So, I bought these Nike Zoom Vaporfly Next Percent Freeze. Uh, I got them as an exchange as my uh, Alpha Flies pods actually deflated. Uh, I haven't done much fun in them now, so I was a bit disappointed because I, I, I quite enjoyed running them because they were nice and comfy. Anyhow, so I got the next edition of the Vaporfly family. I've had the first edition, the second edition, and now the third edition. As you can see, there's a few alterations to this. Uh, I particularly like the heel, there's a lot more foam on the heel, it's not as narrow as its, pre, uh, as its predecessors. Also the toe box is a lot wider. There's a lot more perforations in the shoe itself, in the, uh, in the booty of the shoe. So there's a nice airflow that keeps your feet nice and cool. Uh, there's no padding in the tongue, which is a little, a little bit of a let, well, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, and there's padding in the heel. Also, what I like is this new tread 
it gives a lot more grip and I'll also um, it'll also give it a bit more longevity as the others the the, uh, the sole uh, wears, uh, wears away quite quick uh, the first edition do anyway mine are absolutely gone so like I said I did 14 miles of it today the only reason why I slowed down is because I've done quite a bit of running this week a lot of workouts and I've been on night shift last night and today it's very very hot so I've got a bit of a night shift hangover so it wasn't really a fair uh, a fair review but I still did quite a quick half marathon I'll put the stats up as well for that so yeah uh, no hot spots no rubbing uh, very comfortable it's a totally new design to the to its predecessors to the uh, version 1 and version 2 a lot more foam uh, it's not as stiff as version 2 but it's not so bouncy that you're not getting that that return if anything you're getting more energy return really I really enjoy running them and I'm gonna put them away now and I'm gonna keep them for race days right I need to go get a shower because I smell like a warm horse. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all my subscribers. Please like, comment and share. Uh, all comments are welcome. 